Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Good Saturday evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Brandon Woolley. Some nice sunshine out there for today, but also some passing higher clouds from time to time. Still some beautiful looking sunshine for tomorrow on your Sunday, but the real focus lies on the stronger winds coming up, especially by Monday. 53 degrees is your current temperature. Westerly wind up to about 10 miles per hour. Temperatures now across the region from the 50s, low to the mid 50s. McAllister at 54 degrees, Coffeyville at 51, Venita Checks in at 52 degrees here for the five o'clock hour and folks, it's going to be a little bit warmer for tomorrow afternoon. Now earlier this morning it was 36 degrees. That's the official low. The daytime high today punched up into the mid 50s. The average high for this time of year at 51 degrees closer to 60 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. Now the wind direction and speed basically up to about 10 miles per hour. Now tomorrow those gusts upwards of about 25 up to 35 miles per hour on Monday, so definitely seeing that increasing fire danger potential over the next two days. You can see on the latest series of satellite pictures with the radar, we had this area of low pressure passed just to the south of Tulsa early this morning that brought McAllister some rain, but we just saw a few sprinkles out of that disturbance around Tulsa for early this morning. So for tomorrow on your Sunday, a mixture of clouds and sunshine, mostly clear skies out there overnight tonight, so it looks pretty good for your Sunday with again temperatures from the upper 50s to close to 60 degrees, but again, we're going to see some clouds from time to time in those gusts, especially by tomorrow afternoon, upwards of about 25 miles per hour. So again, the big story over the next two days, the gusty winds. So timing things out on future track for tomorrow on your Sunday, increasing wind potential out there for the afternoon, pulling out of the northwest, sustained between about 10 and 20 miles per hour. Overnight tomorrow night through very early on Monday morning, folks, it's still going to be breezy out there and the big Biggest winds out there for Monday. We could see those localized gusts between about 30 and 35 miles per hour. That model run is showing sustained winds out there. Overnight tonight, again, as we saw on future track, mostly clear skies. A pretty decent looking evening for us. Those overnight lows into the 20s and 30s. Miami at 33 degrees, 32 in sky it took, and light winds all less than about 10 miles per hour. Those overnight lows, Tahlequah at 31 degrees, Shakota at 32. The sunrise coming up at 720. It looks pretty good. Good for your Sunday forecast, but chilly out there tonight. Stigler goes all the way down to the freezing point of 32. So by tomorrow afternoon, anywhere from the upper 50s to close to 60 degrees, a mixture of clouds and some nice sunshine all over again. From the upper 50s to the lower 60s, again, pretty gusty out there for tomorrow afternoon. Anywhere those gusts between about 25 and 30 miles per hour. Daytime highs from the 50s to close to 60 degrees, but the windiest day is coming up for Monday. Again, those gusts up words of about 30 or even 35 miles per hour. Here's a look at your seven day forecast as a cold front comes through with those winds on Monday. Those high temperatures cooling off into the upper 40s. 53 degrees for your Tuesday forecast and lighter winds on Tuesday. Stephen doesn't look too bad for the remainder of next week. Check out next Thursday all the way to 63 degrees down into the lower 50s for Friday and Saturday. Those overnight lows anywhere from the 20s to the 30s.